Lesson 1.3, Model and Count 3 and 4. In this video, we represent 3 and 4 objects with counters in a 5 frame, and we trace 3 and 4. Here we have 1, 2, 3 loaves of bread, and we have some counters here. We can put 3 counters into the 5 frame, one counter for each loaf of bread. We have one, two, three loaves of bread. In the five frame, we can put one, two, three counters. Here we have one, two, three, four loaves of bread. And we can put a counter for each loaf of bread. We have one counter for each loaf of bread. We can put it in the five frame. One, two, three, four. We have one counter for each loaf of bread. Here we have the number three. We have the word three. We can count one, two, three apples. And we can put a counter into the five frame for each apple. Put one, two, three counters for one, two, three apples. Here we have the number four. We have the word for. We can put a counter for each of the four apples into the five frame. We have one, two, three, four apples. We put one, two, three, four counters into the five frame. Here we need to count, then we need to circle the greater number, and greater means more. How many blue fish are here? We can count one, two, three. There are three blue fish. How many yellow fish are there? We can count one, two, three, four yellow fish. Do you know which one has the greater number? the blue fish or the yellow fish. If you said the yellow fish, you're right. Four is a greater number than three. Here we have the number three. One, two, three. We can trace it with our finger. With our right hand, we start here. We come around to the dotted line, and then we come around again to the bottom line. With our left hand, we start here, we come around to the dotted line, we come around again to the bottom line. And here's the word three. Here we have the number four. One, two, three, four. With our right hand, we can trace it. We start here, we come straight down to the line, then we come over on this side, we come down to the dotted line, and come across. With our left hand, we can start here and come straight down, and then we come over here, we come down to the dotted line, and go across. Here's the word, for. Here we have the number three. We need to circle the correct group. Do you know which group has three? We can count them. For the penguins, I see one, two, three. For the fish, I see one, two, three, four. There are three penguins, one, two, three. 
The correct group is the group of penguins. Here we have the number four. We need to circle the correct group. Are there four bottles of glue or are there four boxes of crayons? Can you count them? Let's count the glue. One, two, three bottles of glue. One, two, three, four boxes of crayons. If you said there's four boxes of crayons and that's the correct group, you're right. We can trace the number three and the number four. For students with their right hand, who write with their right hand, that would be like this. We start here at the dot, we come around to the dotted line, and we come around again to the bottom line. We start here, we come around to the dotted line, and we come around again to the bottom line like that. Let's try it again. We start at the dot, we come around to the dotted line, it kind of pokes like that, doesn't it? It sticks out. And then we come around and curl up a little bit like that. We can write the number four with our right hand. We start here and we can come straight down. Then we go over here. We come down to the dotted line and go sideways. Let's try it again. Right hand. We start here. We come straight down, we start here, a little to the side, to the left side, and we come down to the dotted line, and then go across towards the right. For our left hand, for those that write with this hand like I do, we can make the number three. We start here, and we come around to the dotted line, and come around to the bottom line, like that. Let's try it again. We start here at the dot, we come around to the dotted line, and we come around again to the bottom line and curl up a little bit. We can write the number four with our left hand. We come straight down, and then we start here. We come down to the dotted line and go across. Let's do it again. We can start here, make a straight line coming down. We go over here, we come down to the dotted line and go across. You want to make sure that your numbers are facing the correct way. The number three is open on this side, and the number four has this bent L shape on this side, okay? You can practice counting three objects and four objects, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you join me next time for Lesson 1.4 when we count and write three and four with our right and left hand. Bye.